Hello and welcome back. Uh, in this particular segment we want to learn about how to measure angles and then how that in turn can be used to measure the distance to a star. So I'm hoping that you're all familiar with the degree and so that you should know that if you go around in one circle then that's equivalent to 360 degrees if you go completely around. And hopefully you've used a, a protractor before and you might have made a 30 degree angle or you might have made a 10 degree angle. Have you ever tried to make a 1 degree angle? That's pretty difficult. But astronomers can measure angles smaller than one degree. And so they have taken one degree and chopped it up into 60 parts. So do you remember how we could take the meter stick, which is this, about this big, and chop it up, up into a thousand pieces, and those were the millimeters. Well, in the same way, we could take one degree and chop it up into 60 pieces, and each of those pieces is going to be called an arc minute. So one degree has in it 60, and then we could write the word arc minute, or a shorthand way would be 60 and then a tick mark. So that stands for 60 uh, arc minutes. Well, that's not good enough for scientists because scientists can measure smaller angles than the arc minute. So imagine taking one of those teeny tiny arc minutes and chopping it up into um, 60 pieces. And then we're going to call those things arc seconds. So we could say that one arc minute is equal to 60 arc seconds. Okay, but we could abbreviate that and say 60 and then put a double tick mark. So anytime that you see a double tick mark, then that's going to stand for arc seconds. That's how the kind of angles that astronomers are able to measure. And so what we're going to do is use the concept of the arc second in order to figure out the distance to a star which we're going to do in our next segment.